morning friends i hope you are doing well welcome to the weekend i have the next three days off we have a long weekend so i thought i would take you along and bring you with me i am just sitting outside enjoying my cup of morning coffee it is beautiful out it's so peaceful and calm i am getting my hair cut today it's very long I am ready for my summer cut. I'll be chopping my hair off and I cannot wait. Can't wait to show you. It's my signature look. Long hair isn't for me. I am just a short, blunt bob gal. So that is what I will be doing. And that's not until 10. This weekend, I wanted to share the book that I'll be reading for Pride Month. I have no LGBTQI and A and plus books so i decided to swap out done and dusted by lila sage with late bloomer by Maisie ennings oh, shit. i will not be reading this and vlogging this i'll have to find a different book how unfortunate i'll talk to you in a little bit hi i've moved back inside since i realized that i am not going to vlog reading late bloomers i should have taken a look at the publisher and i need to be more aware moving forward some people have asked me what the deal is with saint martin's publishing group the reason why i decided that i'm not going to read late bloomers after seeing who the publisher actually is is because i am currently supporting the boycott against St. Martin's St. Martin's Publishing Group. You can Google this, you can come up with your own opinions and what you support and believe in. I've seen a lot online and from other people that St. Martin St. Martin's Publishing Group is Islamophobic and they discriminate towards Bi BIPOC workers and creators and I do not support that. For one, I am considered BIPOC myself. I am South Asian and the only thing that I want to do on this channel and share with you is to support other South Asian authors and creators in BIPOC individuals. I do believe that I have this platform to be able to use and share what I believe in my thoughts and not support those that don't support me and don't support what I believe in. I know that that opens up a huge can of worms and other topics, but right now in this moment regarding St. Martin's Publishing Group, I have chosen to support authors by reading their books, but I will not promote their books by talking about them on YouTube or Instagram or sharing my reviews. I think that it's a really difficult decision and balance for authors specifically who are a part of St. Martin's Publishing Group or were because it's a big deal and those authors might not have the same beliefs as a publishing group. So I think that it is okay to read the books by those authors, but maybe just for me, I'm not going to give them give the publishing group free advertising and free promotion. Does that make sense? That is why I had to put late bloomers down because I will not be filming it here. But the book that I will be filming and I am now back to is Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This is a cowboy romance and my first cowboy romance. I'm very excited. I think it should be fun. I've heard nothing but good things. I don't even know what the back of the book is really about. All I know is that it's a cowboy romance. This is the first book in the Rebel Ranch series. I know that there's two right now and I do have both of them and I believe the third one is coming out soon. So this is a book that we will be starting off with. Wow, I feel like I just started hot and heavy with this vlog. I do think it's important that we talk about these situations and the, this things that are happening, especially in the reader world and how they relate and correlate to the real world, the reader world in the real world. If you do want to chat about it, I would be happy to. I am learning myself as I go. There's a lot going on in this world and I think that we need to support each other and support what we believe in and support the good. Morning to ya. Also, I went to the Bleachers concert on Thursday with Mark. 
it was so much fun i had seen jack antonoff and bleachers once or twice before already in kansas city and this show sold out crazy to be fair i think it's because that people are realizing that jack antonoff produced taylor's albums so that's why he's gotten a lot more support and that's great good for him i like a lot of his songs that he produced on her most recent album but there are just a lot more kids there than i would have wanted <laughs> It was a lot of fun though. It was a really good time. Today though, I am going to get my hair cut at 10, chop it off, and Mark and I will be working on the garden outside and hopefully finishing everything. I can't wait to share the final product and how everything looks, so we've been working very hard on it. Other than that, I have no plants today. We're just going to relax and read and spend lovely time outside, and then get tired and spend it all inside. I hope you like these chatty vlogs. Let me know. I feel like I've been more comfortable with vlogs lately where I just rant and ramble and just talk about life and it's fun. I understand that this is a reading YouTube channel so if you want more reading less chit chats, happy to oblige. I'm here for you. 370 something subscribers which thank you so much by the way i cannot believe it i am honestly shocked that that many people want to watch me talk about books and let me take you along in my life it's been really fun so thank you so much genuinely this toast goes out to you cheers i do appreciate it I really do. It's been a fun few months. I've learned and grown so much. I was looking back at old videos and the first few videos, every other sentence, I felt like I said the word um, just always um. And now I've switched that maybe with but. I'm working on it though. I feel like I'm getting better. I hope so. But don't go watching my old videos. They're not that great. Just start here and keep going if you're new. <laughs> okay, I'm going to top myself off with some more coffee. I have my book and I'm going to read for a little bit. She's back. I look so good. I feel like myself again. I'm never growing my hair out ever again. This is my reminder to myself if I ever rewatch this video to never grow my hair out because I just look so much better with short hair and I just feel so much more like myself with short hair. Ugh, I love it. Yay. We went on a walk with the dogs. I read for maybe, I read 25 pages, so nothing really to report. We took the dogs on a quick walk and then I got my hair cut and now we're back and getting ready to start working in the backyard. I guess I can give you a quick synopsis of what I know so far. In Done and Dusted, our main female character, her name is Emmy and she hasn't come back to her family hometown in Wyoming in a very, very long time. Meadowlark, Wyoming. She ends up breaking up with her boyfriend, quitting her job, just things, something really happened for her to be so traumatized that she ends up just dropping everything in Denver and then moving back to Meadowlark, Wyoming to be with her best friend. And this is a enemies to lovers because 
the main male character. His name is Luke Brooks, and he actually is best friends with Emmy's older brother. So growing up, Emmy and Luke have just always butt heads because he's he he has always grown up teasing her and giving her shit, but Loki, he's obsessed with her. He is obsessed with her. She comes back, they go to a bar, she and her best friend go to a bar, and he sees her and he is just swooning. That's where I'm at so far, only 25 pages in. So nothing much to say other than it's about Emmy and Luke and he is not supposed to like her because his best friend is her older brother. Not very cowboy at the moment, but I understand why it is a cowboy romance. It takes place on a ranch. There's horses involved. Makes sense. The wheels are turning. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go garden outside for a little bit, but just wanted to give you a quick, quick reading update and then quick update of my day so far. It's been lovely and it's a beautiful day outside. Sunny, a little bit windy, but should be a good time. Talk to you soon. Hi friends, it is a few hours later. It's around 9 p.m. Yep, nine o'clock. We finished our rock garden and put in our hostas and banana tree plants and it looks really good. I'm very proud of us. This is my first garden project for our backyard and for her house. And so it's it's been a long time coming. We've been trying to figure out what we want to do in the backyard. There's just so much empty space back there. We have quite a bit of yard and we've just been unsure. And we started, we started with our garden. We are now growing tomatoes, strawberries. We're going to put in jalapenos and peppers. So we'll have our little garden and then our hostas and banana palm trees. Yeah, so we did all of that today. We had to get that done before tonight because it's supposed to storm tonight and then all day tomorrow. And we won't be able to work outside tomorrow. So we just kind of scrambled to get it all done. And we did it. And as you saw, we did go get Andy's as a celebratory dessert. So we got some frozen custard. We both ended up getting vanilla custard with toffee, Heath Bar, caramel, and Reese's Pieces. Try it, it's very good. <laughs> we did that and then came back, ate leftover Olive Garden for dinner, and then we started watching the Planet of the Apes movies because the new one came out and we do wanna watch that. So we watched the first Planet of the Apes and it was very good, very scary because that can happen in real life. I mean, could it? Probably, it possibly could. M more likely than not. It was a very busy day today. I didn't get any reading done other than that tiny little update I gave you. I'm still on page 25. I'm gonna read this evening. I have a very special package and delivery that I thought we could unbox together. So as you might know, or you might not, if you follow me on Instagram, please do. It's Reads with Shuba, same as my YouTube channel. I own the Kindle, the Kindle Oasis. It's their 2021 version. I don't even think they sell these anymore. I'm pretty sure that if you buy it, you have to buy it refurbished or you have to buy it used. But I got this back in 2021 or 2022. I'm not positive. And ever since then, I've always been a firm believer that there needs to be color Kindles. And Kindle doesn't make color. But I've also been trying to spend money 
from Amazon less and be more cognizant about where I'm purchasing my products from. And products that I can make a decision on, like I have control over, yes, there are some things that I just have to use Amazon Prime to purchase and get, but when it comes to booktube and books and anything reading related, I've been trying to be more mindful about where my books come from. And if it's a physical copy, I'll go to an independent bookstore to purchase that book. And if it is a digital copy, I have been using my Kindle and Libby, so the library around town, to get my ebooks. I should not be holding this knife like this. Kobo, which is owned by Rakuten, and that is a Canadian company, they recently launched a color version of their Kobo, which is essentially a Kindle. I've been waiting for it. So I actually did receive my first like Kobo Libra color, which is the one that I bought, but there were some issues with it and I'm not sure. The more I think about it, I'm pretty sure it was the file of the book that I was reading that was causing the issues of my Kobo, but they just said to return it and then they would just send me a brand new one again. So that is what this is. I'm very excited. I used it for maybe a week before I returned it and I'm really sad. I've just been really sad without it. I, I went color and now I can't go back. Oh, it's upside down. It's here. <laughs> I ended up getting the black version. I feel like color looks better on black than it does on white when it comes to like Kindle products and eBooks. That's why I got the black when I did. Everything is upside down. My life is just upside down right now. But I did get the black and also I do have the stylus that comes with the Kobo. I did purchase it. I like to annotate and I've been I've had a hard time annotating on my Kindle, but I love the fact that you can highlight in color and you can take notes and write in color. It's been so fun the one week that I used it I really enjoyed it I just have a clear case just I for the time being I just have this as my background on my Kindle case it's just a smile it's a picture that I took when I was in Denver back in college so a very very long time ago visiting a friend I can't even remember but this is just how I keep my Kobo yeah, I figured that we could kind of unbox it together and I can share with you my first impressions. I guess second impressions since I've already opened this before, but I will be making a full review video and I'm going to share more about why I decided to really switch over to Kobo rather than keep my Kindle. I'm still gonna use my Kindle, but mostly my Kobo. It's a beautiful packaging. Wow. It's so pretty. I love the details. Like on the back, look at that. It's like it has some texture to it. I really do like that. It's really thin too. Kobo girly. That is just a little teaser trailer, little, little snippet. And you'll just have to watch my video when it comes out as to why I am choosing to switch over from my Kindle to the Cobra Kobo Libra color. I just hope you, the anticipation is just killing you right now, wanting to know why. Okay, I'm gonna go get this set up and then get reading. I probably won't talk to you until tomorrow morning and I will finally be able to get some, get a dent in Done and Dusted and I can talk to you about it. That's what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. Have a good night and I will see you in the morning. friends it's the next day we had a crazy storm come in last night 
I think it went until this morning, but it was just very high winds and things were blowing everywhere. And it was kind of scary, but nothing bad happened. Everything that we gardened yesterday was fine. I woke up this morning and had some coffee and read quite a bit. So I'm here for my first official reading update. I'm on page 161, chapter 14. So exactly halfway through Done and Dusted and I'm liking it so far. It's very much a small town romance, forbidden love because our main character, Emmy, comes back from Denver after she went to, left Meadowlark for college and got her job and she rides for a living. But then she gets into some accident where she can't ride anymore just because of PTSD and she moves back unofficially to Meadowlark, which is her hometown and where she grew up. She gets involved with her older brother's best friend, Luke. They've never gotten along with each other, so it's very much enemies to lovers, but things start to happen. I really like it so far. It's a very slow burn romance. I'm halfway through and I really like the dual POVs. We do get Emmy's point of view and then we get Luke's point of view. I would say that the writing style is nothing crazy beautiful. I think that this is Lila Sage's debut novel and her writing is easy to follow. What I don't like about the writing style is the drop of the F word. It's been, it's written in here quite a bit. I'm just not into that because when I'm reading, something I obviously say the word in my head and I just it doesn't feel natural to me and I feel like a lot of people don't don't just drop the f-bomb often in their sentences but that's the only thing that I'm like huh I'm not really sure about this it's it's good so far I, I do enjoy it it's a fast-paced read and I like that I like that this has the main storyline of Emmy and Luke and any Emmy coming back. She is thinking about riding in a race that's in her hometown that happens in like a month or so and she's learning how to ride again and she's getting through that that the barriers of the accident and what happened and trying to recover from that and then we also get Luke's point of view and he's dealing with a lot of family issues from his past that he's getting over as well while trying to own and run a bar. So it's nice to see that dynamic of different plot points and how it's progressing. And something else that I do enjoy is that we not only have this racing background with horses, but her older brother, who is the middle child, he is starting up a guest house and renovating it on Rebel Ranch, which is her home essentially and so it's really fun to see kind of the start of that because i do think that it's going to be a big part of the sequel swift and saddle from what i am gathering there's enough going on for me to not want to put this down and keep reading and i like that i also had mentioned that this is my first cowboy romance and it's fun i i like that it's different it's nothing that i've read before so it's quite refreshing i do enjoy that aspect of it it's just a fun heartfelt western romance and there's a lot of fun quirky family dynamics and shenanigans that do happen in this story so i am liking it we are about to head out and do some shopping at our outlet mall and then come back hopefully i'll get some reading in i need to clean the house because tonight our neighbors are coming over and we're gonna have a game night and play wingspan which is very fun if you've never played it before it's a board game but it has to deal with birds very vague that's that's on our list for today but like i said i like it so far exactly halfway through so that's all i have to say for now and i will talk to you in a little bit and see you soon
Cheers. 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 <laughs> Hi everybody, it is Monday afternoon. What a busy morning, what a fun Monday. I think the last time I gave you a reading update was yesterday afternoon. Mark and I ended up going to the Legends Mall. It's an outlet mall. We did a little bit of shopping, getting ready for a trip that we're going on and then came back, relaxed a little bit. And then last night, our neighbors, uh, we're really good friends with them. They came over and we played a board game called Wingspan. It's very fun. I highly recommend if you like board games, if you've never tried it before, it has to do with birds. So it's, I don't really even know how to explain it. It's a very weird game. This morning I woke up and had my coffee and read Done and Dusted. I did finish it. I can't wait to tell you my final thoughts on this. But after that, Kinsey, myself, my friend Logan, who I've mentioned before in my vlogs, and then my friend Dalton, who I've known since third grade. We basically grew up together. We all went to the Nelson Atkins Museum lawn and just had a little picnic, drank some mimosas, Kinsey made sourdough cinnamon rolls and they were delicious. And we just had a good time and enjoyed each other's company. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna go play some pickleball. Very busy day, so I decided that I'm going to finish off this vlog here. I did finish this. I read quite a bit this morning and I liked it. I think I would give it a 3, 3.5 out of 5 stars. I know I mentioned this earlier in a reading update, but the writing style isn't poetic or profound or there's nothing fancy about it which is not a bad thing at all this was a easy fast-paced book just what i really needed before getting into some heavier books coming june as i am trying to read uh, a little life by hanya yanagahara so this was just a really fun story to start off with i really enjoyed the characters a lot i like emmy a lot i also really like our main male character I already forget his name, Luke. I like him a lot and I am very, very excited to read the second book, which is going to have to do with Emmy's older brother, the middle one, Wesley, and then this girl named Ada, who is an interior designer and a friend of her best friend. I have to say that overall, I think the characters were all really fun and I liked how they all interacted with each other. You do get that with small town romances and I enjoyed that a lot. This reminded me a lot of Part of Your World, just having that setting of a small town and really getting to know the characters within the small town and I, I found that to be really fun and just comfortable just heartfelt i i did really like that i think that what fell for me with this story and i know i mentioned that before i'm just gonna say it briefly again the choice of words was just i don't know it's just not how i would speak and i think maybe that's my issue sometimes when i'm reading a story i am reading the words out loud in my head and the use of profanity in this book is quite a lot i would say i just didn't like that very much it got pretty spicy. This is a slow burn romance and it is really fun. When there was romance, the spicy scenes were very habanero hot spicy. It just was unexpected for me. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I knew this was going to be a romance story and there's different levels of it. So I would have to say it's very, very slow burn. It is spicy when you get to those romantic situations. The ending was fun. I thought that overall it was a really good book. And what I also really appreciate about the story is that the author, she has ADHD and Emmy, our main character, has ADHD as well. So you learn a little bit about her through her POV and um, there is representation with that and I really do think that 
it makes our character more endearing and I do like that it makes her more human you understand a lot more of why she is feeling the feelings that she does and why she's reacting to certain situations and things that um, happen to her within this story I did really like that and I like that how Lila Sage got to incorporate some of her real life emotions and her experience with ADHD and being able to put that into a story that is near and dear to her heart. If you had to ask me if I would recommend this story, I think I would. It is really fun. It's only 320 pages, so it's pretty short to read. The characters are just people that you can really fall for, and I did enjoy that, and we did get our dual POV, which you know that I love. I do recommend it. It did just have some minor pieces that I didn't click with, but not a bad thing. I had a great time reading this, and I definitely will be picking up Swift and Saddle, which is the sequel, the second one. Those are my final thoughts for Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Like I said, I really liked it, and I do recommend it. Thank you so much for watching if you are here and made it all the way through the vlog. I hope you had a great time. It was a very jam-packed and fun, busy weekend, so you gotta see a little bit of what I do in the weekend. Normally it's not as busy, but I had a great time this weekend. I'm gonna leave this vlog right here and I will see you again in another video. Have a great week, bye.